Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to bring you a new Cimarron trailer. But before we get into that, we obviously have a lot of new trailers here available. We've got a lot of things on order as well. So if it's time to upgrade, give us a call. We do take trade-ins. If you do have an tra extra trailer sitting around that you want to turn into some cash, give us a call. We do buy trailers outright as well. It's a very simple process. But now let's circle back around to this new Cimarron that we've got. It's a stock combo. The very, very popular stock combos. Uh, this is a really cool one. We're going to go ahead and show you the drawing on this one. This is a 24-footer. We made this one 7.6 wide, so it's a little bit wider than standard, which I'll show you when we get into the stall area, what we're talking about there. It's 7.1 tall. That's the standard height that Cimarron uses. This has a three foot six short wall in the front dressing room with a four foot offset. But we've done some unique things to this trailer. And then we're also gonna talk about some of the new uh, features that are standard on 22 models because this is a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. So let's take a look at this trailer. We'll talk about how it's constructed as we, as we go along here. But I'll give you a little background on it. All aluminum construction from Cimarron trailers. Let's talk about a little bit about warranty. So you have an eight year structure warranty on this trailer with three year hardware. So basically hitch to bumper, you have a three year warranty there. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about a tire and wheel warranty that the vendor that Cimarron uses, Lion's Head, provides to you as well. But let's take a look at a couple things here. We'll start up at the nose because I want to discuss a couple features and some things that we do at, at Trans West to these Cimarrons that we feel like are really beneficial for you uh, when you go ahead and purchase a new trailer. This is equipped with a single leg manual crank jack. One of the very cool features that I like is this handle. So this is our handle for our manual jack, but this also doubles as a lug wrench for you as well. So you've got a lug wrench on hand with you to change a tire if need be. And then it's got a really good place to store. This is a very simple piece, but we really, it's a very beneficial piece. You'll notice right ahead of where that jack stores, there's this plastic piece right here. Well, that's actually for our seven pin plug to just go ahead and slide in there. So it's not dangling, uh, doesn't get dropped on the ground, um, you know, potential of something happening to it. There's, it actually stores right in there. Now I've got it hooked up to this power pack here so we can run the lights on this trailer but another feature that just comes standard on these Cimarrons. Now, before we get into this tack room, I'm gonna just move this door out of the way because I wanna talk to you about drop wall height. So a gooseneck drop wall height, standard in the industry today is 50 inches. That's what these Cimarrons come standard with. But over the last couple years, I'm sure if you've noticed as well with these newer pickups, the bed height is getting extremely tall. I mean, we're seeing every manufacturer go with a taller bed height which causes problems when we go to hook on to trailers and the reason why is we want trailers to run level you want equal weight distribution over those two axles but we also want bed clearance as well we don't want to damage the bed get in there tear that up and then you're going to have that that kind of cost that you're looking at so standard is 50. here at trans west we go into all of our cimarrons now there's a couple exceptions obviously our living quarters we do a little different gooseneck drop wall height because of the weight of the actual conversion itself. Uh, if we're looking at an air ride trailer, something with 17.5, 19.5 wheels that are already a little bit taller anyway. But for most part, most of our using trailers, you know, like this combo, our three, four, five horse, six horse goosenecks, we go in and we make this gooseneck drop wall height 53 inches. So we gain an extra three inches of bed clearance. But now it gives us the ability to set this on your truck, have plenty of bed clearance. Um, you know, usually we shoot for about six and a half. If you're at six and a half or higher, this right here is about eight, eight and a half. That's kind of what we really strive for. I'm gonna be able to touch your bed and then just barely touch the bottom of this. But about six and a half inches, you're, you're uh, really good as far as bed clearance goes. But it gives us the ability to set this trailer level. We can adjust our coupler if we have to, and then make sure we've got that bed clearance and again, riding level 
on the truck itself. The gentleman that dropped this off, um, he transports a lot of trailers. I mean, that's what he does for a living. And he told me how well this trailer pulled. Uh, he says, you know, I pull bigger trailers from different manufacturers and, and even smaller ones with different manufacturers. And this trailer by far pulled the best. And we got talking a little bit about it. Cimarron puts a lot of emphasis on axle placement to balance the load best. But the other thing is a lot of manufacturers their length of their gooseneck is about 7.6 to 7.8. Now, there are some exceptions if it's an enclosed front end, they like to extend, which Cimarron does as well, but their standard length is 8 foot 2. So from this point underneath to the nose is 8.2. I think that also has some benefit on how well these trailers pull. It just helps us with that weight distribution. So now let's take a look at this tack room. Like I mentioned, when we were looking at the drawing, this is a three foot six short wall. So a four foot offset. We put a bigger door on here. So we put a 42 inch wide door. Uh, it is 10 inches wider than the standard, but we really feel the benefits are, I mean, as you can see, this has a swing out saddle rack that's folded in right now. Fold it out here in a second. But as you can see, you've got a nice clear path getting into this tack area and out. You know, when, when you have these smaller doors, it kind of pushes everything forward. The saddle rack has to be a little bit closer. But the other benefit too is, is when it's swung out and when it swings out, as you can see, if we've got our saddles on these pads here, we are not even getting anywhere close to this door frame on scuffing up any tack, any saddles coming in and out. But I can also walk right past here with this swung out. So on this one here, we went ahead and did four pads. These are adjustable, so you can just loosen these nuts, slide it up and down, tighten it where you want it to, or you can remove, you can add, you can do about anything you want there. But now we don't have to crawl in, in and out of this to get our saddles out. We option a fold up step on here, it's just on a gas shock. But that makes a big difference here from ground to this top part of this door frame here. I mean, now we're cutting into about six, eight inches. Uh, it's just an easier transition getting in and out of this trailer, especially if you are carrying stuff in and out. And then on the door itself, a four tier blanket back rack holder here. It's on a gas shock as well. And then a brush tray for kind of some of those little miscellaneous items. As we get in here, Standard on these Lone Stars, you actually get window frames, but you don't get the windows. So we option those in. Um, over the years, windows have gotten a little bit pricey, but I really like this because now you can see out, you know, if you, you can kind of get a little claustrophobic in here. Also, if you are throwing a, a mattress or some uh, bed rolls or something like that in here, you can open up those windows and create a cross breeze through here. So it keeps it nice and cool. And up there to the right, that is our plexiglass tray. So we can, we can remove the plexiglass on the air openings, which I'll show you on this stall area here in a bit. But that's a good place to go ahead and store them. They're up, they're out of the way, they're secure. Uh, it's not a bad idea to carry a roll of uh, painter's tape, masking tape with a Sharpie. You know, that way you can take out driver's side upper, driver's side lower, tape those together write what it is so it's a little easier when you go to put them back in there you're not trying to figure out the puzzle pieces on where everything goes up over here to the left is a clothes rod so you can hang some clothes up there on the gooseneck drop wall this is a 12 inch boot box that goes all the way across another place for kind of some smaller miscellaneous items that float around when we're traveling but also works as a nice step when we jump up here into the gooseneck area as well. Bridle hooks with carpet behind them so your tack isn't rubbing against that aluminum wall, scuffing, scuffing up your, your tack itself, scuffing up the wall, but also the noise it creates on the other side for the animals. So we're just trying to keep that noise level down as much as possible. And then behind this, swing out saddle rack you'll notice a 25 gallon it's just a gravity feed water tank there it tucks behind that saddle rack really well back in that corner 
You can carry water with you. So if you go to, you know, a trailhead, if you got a finicky horse that likes water from home, if you go to an event and you're parked clear out in the back of the parking lot and don't want to trek to go get water, fill up buckets, and then carry them back. This way you can carry that water with you. That's a really popular option that we were adding on to a lot of trailers. We've we put it onto a lot of uh, inventory trailers itself. Uh, but with that being said, if you're looking for one of those, our, our uh, parts department can help you out with that. So let's look at this now. So we've got, there's those two rows of plexiglass. So we got two air vents there. Those can be easily removed, again, storing them up front. We put a 16 inch awning light on each side of this trailer into this trailer here. So that is an upgrade there that we did. On the 22 models, the button lights are now standard. That was an upgrade that we were doing, uh, but now it is standard on the 22 models moving forward. And then we've got some hooks out here for you to go ahead and tie up to. And then this trailer is equipped with two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, 16 inch wheels. These are 10 ply tires on this one. These are nitrogen filled and balanced tires. So the nitrogen helps PSI levels from fluctuating drastically, causing blowouts. They use them on airplanes. Think about altitude changes. Think about temperature changes there. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires from the day you purchase the trailer. So if you have a blowout, if you catch a nail, you hit road debris, you send in some pictures, you send in the codes, they'll send you a new tire within a couple days. So they stand behind the product there as well. One of the other things that's standard on these Cimarron's, this is a bolt-on fender rather than a weld-on. So weld-ons, obviously, if, if we have an issue where we have to replace it, it's going to cost you more money to replace because we're going to need a little bit more time cutting off the original that's welded on and then welding the new one on. This is a lot simpler process here. Now, but before we get to the back of this trailer, I want to show you something else that's standard on these. So on this back door, these holdbacks, they used to kind of have a, a fixed holdback here and it basically just pivoted up and down where now they've gone in and they've, done, they've added the ball valve to it. So these are a lot simpler to use. They're a lot more user friendly. I mean, you you can get them actually attached a lot simpler than the old styles were. But now that is standard on all their doors as far as holdbacks go. This gives you a good shot of this rear gate as well. It's a single gate. Again, plexiglass can remove on it as well. As we get to the back, you'll notice an eight inch awning light. So we've done two 16 inch awning lights on either side of the trailer, and then an eight inch here at the back. These are all LEDs. So they do put out quite a bit of light. And then we have some stall lights in this trailer as well. And they're all individually switched. So I can run either side of the trailer, the back or the, the stalls. I don't have to have one light switch on and everything comes on. If I wanna isolate what lights I have on, I can do that. So this, this gives you a good view here. With it being 7.6, we're gonna have a little bit of wheel well on the inside of each. Cimarron has gone in and taken some additional steps. I mean, these, these are tapered, so they're tapered back, they're tapered up, so we're not dealing with any you know 90 degree angles. Uh, animal safety is first and foremost, so they put a lot of emphasis there. But by giving this a little bit more width, you know, it really lengthens these stalls if you are hauling some horses uh, in this type of a setup. So this is a unique setup from the standpoint of we did two center cut gates. Now, we put everything on a slant to match the slant wall of the front tack, but there's a foot and an AR latch up top that it just, simple process, it slams in and locks. And then we've got one up here at the front as well. Now this first stall, we actually set the gate right behind the escape door. And our thought behind that was is that's a good storage area and you can still access it from that escape door or we can use it as a stud stall. 
If you've got somebody that needs to be isolated, you can put them in there. Now that is three foot three, that first stall there. That is the standard width of all of our horse trailer slant loads. So it's not any bigger, any smaller. And by having this trailer seven, six wide, you know, it lengthens the stall out a little bit more. And then we went ahead and optioned on this front partition wall and the hip wall here with the rubber mat to go ahead and finish it off. So having that kick wall there is kind of nice. Um, got somebody likes to likes to kick going down the road. You've got that option there. You'll notice these slam latches. You know everything's flush to the wall. They're really really simple to go ahead and shut, and that's really important from a safety standpoint for us and the animals as well. I'm not having to get something in this first stall, hold the gate, and try to get a pin in. You know I can just slam it shut. So now let's kind of talk. We talked a little bit about this being all aluminum construction. Um, I tell customers if you really want to see quality build of a trailer, the very first thing you should look at is the floor. So get underneath, look at the floor, look at those centers, look how they're spread apart. The closer they are, probably the better built trailer it is. So on this Cimarron here, on all the Cimarrons, it's a 12 inch extruded deck board. It locks in high and low, it, it, you know, it's a uh, tongue and groove. And then it's four inch centers with a truss in the middle. So this is the industry's best floor. If you take care of it, it'll hold up. So pull your mats, clean it out once a year really well, power wash it, let it dry, put some baking soda down to counteract the acidity of the urine, put your mats back in there. Uh, but if you do those type of things, this floor will last you forever. On the stock trailers, you get a good view of this because on most of the time, the horse trailers, the stall area is lined and insulated. But these posts combined with the hollow core extrusion on the outside, that hollow core they've done flat on the inside so you know we don't really have the ability for manure and dirt and stuff to get behind these posts so that's a good benefit there uh, that hollow core really gives the strength to the extrusion and then these posts are extremely stout so this is the same amount of aluminum as in the roof bows but those are more of a rectangle um, the, com the competition uses those for a C channel or a hat channel for their upright posts you take a 20 foot stick of that and it'll wobble like a noodle. You take a 20 foot stick of this and it's a pencil. It's one fluid motion. So stronger upright post, same amount of aluminum. But then you say, well, why, why didn't they put them up there on the roof? Well, now we're also capping the trailer off with a standard insulated roof that comes on these Cimarrons. So it's a half inch thick, reinforced uh, R3 thermal value, so it's extremely cool in these trailers compared to aluminum sheeted roofs. So it keeps our animals more comfortable. And then also we've gained strength with that hollow core, with that honeycomb design in there. Uh, I mean, we can, we can walk on these roofs, jump on them, and we won't dent them. They'll take substantial hail as well. And then we've got two-way roof vents. So we can manipulate airflow through here. Uh, winter months, we can open them up to release as the body heat comes from the animals and rises, we can get that away from them. Now, one other thing that we've done, because of this plexiglass, you know, a lot of times people are tying to the post itself. Well, if you have the plexiglass in, you can't get around them. So on this, in between the two air gaps, we went ahead and put a tie rail for you. So that goes the full length of this stall area. So you've got a great place to tie something up, basically the whole length of this trailer here. So again, a really cool setup from the standpoint of having multiple gates. You know, there are different stall sizes. And then again, by having that extra width, it does make a big difference. I mean, a lot of people go, well, you know, 6'10 to 7'6, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit wider. And then going 7'6 to 8, yeah, it's a little bit wider. But boy, once you start filling it up, if you're, if you're hauling some cattle or something like that, all of a sudden that eight foot becomes a big deal. And then as you get into those bigger body horses, you know, when lengthwise, you know, it just gives them a little bit more room to kind of stretch you out. So here looking at driver's side, again, plexiglass inserts. They even do them on the escape door. More tie hooks out here. There's that additional 16 inch awning light. And then here's our side access door. Going into that first stall, we went ahead and put a chest bar across it. 
That way, if you do have something tied in there, you can go to open that up. You're not gonna just try to jump right in your lap. You got that there for safety. So this is, a, again, another really good place for some additional storage if you want. You know, we could always put a hay rack on this trailer, but if you don't wanna have to deal with getting the hay up there, getting the hay down, you know, this first stall is a great place for any type of feed, any type of bedding, any of your miscellaneous items when you're traveling as well. These, these stock combos have become so popular over the years because it's the versatility of the trailers. You can haul horses, haul livestock, you can haul toys as well. Uh, a lot of people ask about adding rear ramps. We can do that to these trailers as well. It just attaches to the back of the trailer and folds up over the back gate. So there's a lot of options we can do after the fact even to these trailers. So if this is an extremely well equipped trailer, but if there's some couple things you wanted to tweak, we could go ahead and do that for you. We could also go ahead and look at ordering you something as well. Uh, if you got a little bit of time, we can, we can build you exactly what you want. We've got some 20 footers. We've got some other 24 footers on order with some different options on those as well. We like to have some variety here at TransWest just to kind of show you some different options and, and customers, you know, this isn't the standard. You know, we've learned over the years that these optioned up trailers sell so much better than just a standard trailer. So basically everything here on our lot, we have options something on them. We never just say, hey, just give us a standard three horse or a standard four horse or a standard 24 foot combo. We are always tweaking them, always putting different options on them because that's just what the customers and that feedback we get from them. So if you're interested in this trailer here, again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star. 24 foot stock combo. That stock number is 5N210207. So again, if you're interested in it, you wanna see what we have on order, you wanna talk about possibly, you know, building your own custom trailer, talking about your trade-in. Again, if you got something sitting around that you're not using, wanna turn in some extra cash, give us a call. That number is 303-684. 3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.